So yourself got you again, huh? The battle that you tried to win, the you versus you, and ultimately, you wound up on the losing side. Self-mastery, mental mastery, self-control. It is a daily battle that so many of us wind up losing. And right now you are fighting yourself, trying to figure out, how can I get the best of me so I can get the best out of me? Heard a wise person say, controlling oneself is true strength. But I would say it all starts with self-understanding, understanding thyself. Knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, knowing your tendencies, knowing what triggers can be pushed in order for you to start the process of better being able to control the impulse reactions that you have on a daily basis. I want you to think about it like this. There are certain people, certain situations that if you truly understand yourself, you know if you around this person or those people or you're in that situation, you're going to more than likely do something that you're trying to avoid doing. That's self-understanding. And now you turn the self-understanding into self-conversations. And that's when you start saying, if this person calls and asks me to do that, no, I don't think I should do that. This is inside your internal. You're having this conversation between yourself and you. No, because I know if I go there, I'm going to go there and I'm not trying to go there. Even within yourself, as soon as those negative thoughts, that stinking thinking enters into your brain, the self-conversation says, shut it down. I am not thinking that way. I refuse to go there. And those seeds are gonna keep trying to plant themselves. And it's up to you to uproot them and plant the seeds of positivity. That's self-mastery. The more you can plant seeds of positivity via self-conversations, the more you can eliminate the negative self-talk, the self-doubt, and the more you start running you and not allowing the negative side of your brain to run you. Control your mind or it will control you. We're trying to bat a thousand, but like in any sport, in your game of life, you won't bat a thousand. That means you will not win each and every day. You will tell yourself, I'm not gonna do this, and you'll wind up doing it. So you ask me, what happens when that happens? Self-punishments. When you are losing the discipline battle, you have to kick your own button to behind sometimes. Sometimes you have to set your own self down. Sometimes you have to put yourself on a personal timeout self-punishments. I know it's difficult. It's hard to be hard on oneself, but right now it's time for you to set yourself down. Nope, can't go out this weekend. Nope, can't do this until I do that. Because you said you were going to do that. Self-punishments lead you directly to self-forgiveness. That's why you've been struggling at. All that baggage. There's not enough room in your house or your apartment for all that baggage. So it's time for you to start throwing some of that baggage out. Forgive yourself. You're going to make some mistakes. There will be days when you simply blow it. Simple as that. Give yourself a slight punishment, but then forgive yourself because guess what? It's okay. You are human. And we all make mistakes. But the goal is, the key to self-mastery is dominating the positive side of you more than you allow the negative side of you to dominate. Leonardo da Vinci said, one can have no smaller, a greater mastery than the mastery of oneself and once you subscribe to that thought process you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday this is a great day to win let's go